What I've laid out both here and at the other end is the horizontal reference line. The horizontal reference line goes through the entire uh, you know, longitudinal axis of the fuselage. And uh, at the tail post, it's, uh, the horizontal reference line is right at the bottom of the tail post, all right? And then at the forward part of the fuselage, uh, it goes right through the, uh, the top longerons as it goes through the cabin section, okay? So it goes through the cabin section. So in other words, right here where, you're, where the throttle bracket welds onto the top longeron, that's the horizontal reference line. And if we project that line all the way out through the back of the airplane, it hits the uh, aft part of the fuselage uh, right at the, uh, at the bottom of the tail post. Okay, so the lower longeron goes right up and that's right where the horizontal reference line uh, crosses under. So that's how we're gonna start uh, the geometry for our layout. So the stock geometry for the uh, Super Cub fuselage is from the, uh, from the forward face of the engine mount pads, all right? So right at the very forward face of the firewall and actually right to the pads there to the, uh, to the center line of the uh, tail post, 214 and 7 eighths inches. So now I'll make my reference for the tail post and uh, continue laying out all the rest of the geometry. So since I have my, uh, my tape measure, uh, the length of the, of the table, I can just come right over here to, uh, to my dimension, put my drywallers T-square right on it, and uh, clamp it and mark from there. Okay, our last, our last dimension should take us right to the center line of our tail post, what we already had marked out. Bingo, which it does, it's right on. So we are good to go. So that lays out all the locations where tubes meet the lower longerons, okay? I haven't drawn in the line for the lower longeron yet, but that's all our fuselage stations, if you wanna call them that. So all the way from the tail posts, all the way to the very forward edge of the firewall. So, uh, so there's the bottom, so let's continue.
Okay, one last dimension, and that should take us right to the tail post. So let's see. Which it does. So, there are the locations where we'll have a tube intersection along the top longerons. So now let's just keep going. Well, that's about it. That's um, at least the, the, the basic layout of the fuselage. You know, there are some other tubes to put in, and I'm going to change the firewall area. Um, but that's basically what I'm going to have right there. You know, at this point, then I'm going to lay in some uh, upraised blocks to get the uh, actual uh, cluster the joint, you know, the cluster uh, off of the table. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about that in another video. But uh, anyway, here it is, it's all laid out. It's Saturday, uh, Saturday evening. It just took me just a, a few hours just to basically lay this out. And the um, uh, only thing I can say is uh, measure three times. Mark, mark once and then measure your mark. It's so easy to mess up, you know, so uh, just be real careful. And uh, anyway, the uh, momentous day, you know, the uh, jig table, the basic geometry is laid out on the jig table, finally. Um, you know, I will, uh, as soon as I get everything actually completely finished, then I'm going to cut the table down uh, to where it takes up much less space and also you can get right up you know to where you're working so uh, but anyway this is just the basic layout of the geometry uh, big day uh, glad to have this done so uh, thanks for watching take care <laughs>